Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk and uh, welcome to my channel. I still don't have a microphone, but I hope you can hear me. So I've got some new products that I'm going to test and that's the reason I've decided to do a voice like to talk. <laughs> yes, I hope I'll be able to talk enough for you guys. So the first product I'm going to test that I got from Jumia is this pastel eyebrow mascara. It's actually quite interesting that somebody actually thinks that... Um, Mascara, I'm not really good at talking while doing makeup, you know, I'm just going to brush this away, ignore the white. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create an outline of what I want my brows to look like. I kind of want a rounded sort of thing, not very sharp, just a bit. I'm going to go in with this eyebrow mascara. And as I said, it's in the shade dark brown. So I hope it will be visible. So I'm just going to... Is there anything? Because I'm not seeing anything, guys. <sighs> okay. Looks a bit filled in, okay? Then what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to go back with a spoolie. So that I can just create, I guess, lines or something. So the next thing, I'm just going to define my brows. You don't need to see that because I think you've seen that in so many videos of mine. My brush. So I'll just brush this side in and I'm going to do the other side. Sort. Okay, let's move to the, and the other product that I'm actually testing is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer with clay. This one. So I saw it on the Jumia website and I had never actually seen it on the Jumia website. And it was actually cheaper than the other primers that they have. So I thought I'd give it a try. Might be too much. Mm -hmm. Is there any signs of Don't mind how I apply. <laughs> Look. If I, so you guys can even see a difference, like right in front of your faces. Wow. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me so the next thing I'm going to do is do my eyes. And what I'm going to use is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer in Caramel. Just even base on my eyes. Before I go in. This is also a recent purchase. Uh, I've never really liked to use Miss Rose. Miss Rose is, I think, a Chinese company, and I always see it in Best Ladies, so I got it in the Best Lady in Kitale. Oh, color here, wow. Rusty colors. So I'm just going to go in with uh, the, in the crease of my eye. I hope you guys can hear me, because seriously, I don't know how the microphone. Oh, look at that color. Way I love it. I'll go in with this one. It looks really close to the other one, this shiny one here. Champagne shade right there. La Tumacho. See what I was talking about? Their colors are really good. I like them. You know that I'm obviously going to use a little bit of mascara. Not good. Not bad at all. So I'm going to do this with the next eye also. Yes, Joseph. I'm going to show you is the easiest trick for putting on lashes. The easiest, easiest, easiest. And for this step, you'll need this type of eyelash glue. I know because it works best. So if you have this type of eyelash glue, not specifically this brand, but the type that is like, uh, it's like a whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. I don't know what to call that. It's like, yeah an eyeliner kind of thing so what you do instead of applying the glue on the lashes you apply the glue on your eyes okay 
that was like a minute right so the next thing i'm testing is lashes as in seriously <laughs> i wish so what i'm testing is this eyelash color that i got off jumia what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open it up it has like a thingy that's supposed to prevent it from Okay, I've attempted to curl this and I think they looked better without being curled. But anyway, let's just, let's just proceed. <laughs> the next thing that I'm testing is actually foundation and it's the Maybelline Fit Me. I know you guys are thinking, but you always use that kind of foundation. But I do not use this shade. I'm gonna go through. Okay, this one is lighter. I have found the Revlon. Pecan and also the Clinique Pecan. They are the closest foundation shades to my skin. Okay, when you blend it in, it it's actually not so bad. Foundation shade. Okay, when you look at my neck, it doesn't look so light. But for my skin in my face, it definitely looks light. But for my neck, mm. the shade of Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Caramel. And I'm gonna apply it right under my eyes. Love. Now that we look like this, we are going to blend all that in. That is disgusting. Don't be like me. With my first one, then stole. I'm going to put some powder on it. We want to look powder going to start from the base of my brow we like that we like that ignore the crooked line i have a broken nose like triple h remember triple h the wrestler he had a broken nose beauty blenders and all fingers blend really well they blend so well we're not going to go around looking like lunatics no so we i'm going to use the maybelline this fit me flawless powder in the shade toffee to finish off removing the setting powder and like you know setting my face i need a brush where's the brushes you are going to get something that looks like this from afar looks good yeah i think it looks good now the reason i normally pull back this hairs is because of the lashes i don't want the lashes to fall and this camera is at a weird angle yeah much better i do not recommend these lashes I don't recommend them at all. Which is not bad. It's not bad. It's it's okay. It's great actually. So um you can add your accessories like these nose rings that I'm obsessed with right now. If you haven't seen where I got these nose rings, check out my AliExpress nose ring haul. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for, really?